Hi, I'm Cindy Stolnicker, and I'm going to show you how I do water marble silks. I've got this water tray here. It's got a special gel solution in it. What I'm going to do is start adding water-based paints one by one. And as I keep adding colors, the previous colors will move apart to create room for the next colors I'm putting on. So we're going to do a very colorful scarf today. Some colors react with one another and they're not very cooperative, but we're kind of winging this one today. So I'm just going to fill this tray. This is going to be for a 72 inch scarf. Water marbling is actually an ancient art. It was used in Japan, probably about 6th century, and then subsequently made its way to Turkey, where they started marbling all sorts of fabrics. I'm adding the purple now. Some of the paints have reactions with one another. This turquoise, along with purple, is one of my favorite colors. Just couldn't guess. Okay, we're just about ready. But if you look at the back of paints, you'll notice that some of them have little dots in the center so what I need to do is go in here and mix them up a little bit because I'm going to do a peacock pattern and detail is very important if I was doing something a little bit more random then it wouldn't matter as much I also want to look for any little bits of fluff in here leaves or something got our doors open to the studio so a lot of times things can blow in here okay I like to work quick generally no more than about three to five minutes putting the paints on here and then I'm going to start raking them and I think we're probably in pretty good shape okay I'm going to use my big rake I do an up and down motion. It's got little nails in it, spaced about an inch and a half apart. I rake down in one direction and up in the other, bisecting the first set of loops. Then I'm going to use my comb, and it's a comb that's made with toothpicks. It's about a quarter inch spacing. And I'm going to drag through all the paints, and now you can see it's almost like those old marbled cakes people would make. I'm doing is dragging through that zigzag pattern that I previously made. Now this pattern looks pretty good just as is. I'm kind of liking it, but I am going to show you how the peacock works because it's a very traditional marbling pattern. You see this on a lot of Italian papers. It's a bouquet rake, offset nails, and now I'm just going to zigzag my way down the tray. The next step is my husband, who's also my cameraman, is going to help me dip the scarf in here. But we're going to have to pause the video because we need two sets of hands to do that. So I'm going to show you the results. So we just finished dipping the scarf and I'm just running my finger around the edge so that the hemmed fabric has a chance to absorb some of the paints. Once this silk gets wet, you can't absorb any more paint. And here is our pattern. I rinsed it off and you can see the lovely pattern of the peacock. Thanks for watching. LagunaSilks.com